there, Karen from ediblewildfood.com here, and I'm going to start the video today by discussing something that I've always been very curious of as a forager. That would be, let me just focus in right there, the spittle bug. The spittle bug is quite common where I live in Southern Ontario. And at times it just seems like so many of the plants out there have this foam like substance on it. And it's the end result of the spittle bug. But what is exactly this bug and what exactly is it doing here? And more to the point, if the vast majority of plants in the area have this on it, and I want to use it as food, is it safe? Stay tuned. Okay, let's get to some fun stuff now. Regardless of whether you may be a forager or simply an outdoor enthusiast, inevitably at some time you have noticed this frothy substance on a plant or on grass. This belongs to the spittlebug, or some people refer to this as being called the frog hopper. You won't see an adult spittlebug when you see this froth. You'll only notice the nymph, and that's only if you get right into those bubbles. The froth is created by the actual spittlebug nymph. Now, even though it's been called a spittlebug, it isn't spit that you see. What you're looking at basically it consists mostly of plant sap that's been combined with substances that the spittle bugs secrete from their glands. They're able to create this substance by drawing air into their abdomens and they mix that air with the plant fluid as well as some other excretions and then they expel it out of their, well, they expel it out of their anuses. They move their abdomens up and down as the bubbles are being excreted so that they can surround themselves with this protective coating. A great way to remember this is that the nymph makes the foam by extruding the plant sap out of its anus and frothing it, kind of like a cappuccino maker in a weird way. Spittlebugs lay their eggs, the adult spittlebugs that is, lay their eggs in the late summer and they lay them right on the plant stems that are right above the top of the soil. The eggs overwinter and they hatch in the early spring. The resulting nymphs, what you're looking at right now, are actually quite small. They're maybe, maybe a quarter of an inch and they have a pale yellow or a green color, as you can see. As the nymphs feed, their bubbly fortress provides them protection from predators. And not only does it conceal them, but it actually functions as a sticky barrier to deter smaller enemies. At the same time, that foam also helps them to be very comfortable. It uh, helps to temper the effects of hot and cool breezes. It keeps them moist and it definitely protects them from the sun's glare. Now, some spittlebug species can produce as many as 80 bubbles per minute. There is conflicting information out there in regards to how many different species of spittlebugs there are. There appears to be anywhere between 30 and 60 different species throughout the United States and Canada. The sap, it also provides the spittlebug nymphs with nutrition and apparently it doesn't have a lot of nutritional value, but, and they do take in enough to not only sustain themselves, but also to create their frothy homes. A really, really, really cool fact. They drink about 200 times their body weight in plant sap every day. And that would be the equivalent of about, let's say a 150 pound person drinking more than 3,500 gallons of water every day. Those bubbles, each of those bubbles contain air that help them to breathe when they're in protection mode. But if they feel it's safe, apparently they stick their back end out of that froth to get some fresh air. 
And a really cool fact is that when they're drinking the sap uh, from the stem of a plant, they're taking it from the xylem. And the xylem is what distributes the water and dissolved minerals upward throughout the plant from the root to the leaves and the phloem carries food downward. It doesn't matter which species of spittle bug that is out there, they all have wings if they're adults and they rarely fly though. But what they do like doing is hopping. And in fact, adults can hop almost three feet. That's one meter. Scientists studying the biomechanics of adult spittle bugs found that the adults can leap into the air as high as a flea, but it weighs 60 times more than a flea. In fact, one study found that spittle bugs velocity upon takeoff is more than 13 feet per second. That's four meters. Now that requires the spittle bug to exert more than 400 times its own body weight. That is incredibly impressive. In doing all my research on the spittle bug, this is the question I wanted to have answered. If I'm foraging some plants and I want to take the ones that have the spittle bug foam, is it going to be safe? And through all the research I have done, yes. Bottom line, all you have to do is just remove the part of the plant that has the foam on it, or alternatively, you blast water on it to just cleanse it of the foam and of the spittlebug nymph itself. According to this, the Natural History Museum in London, England, the bug itself is edible. I certainly wouldn't promote it. Um, not exactly an appetizing thought, not by a long shot, but at least I have some assurance that as long as I get rid of the foam, as long as I get rid of the, the bugs on the plant, the plant itself is fine. And this has probably been one of the most interesting videos that I have researched to put together. And I've learned a lot myself in the process. I would highly recommend that you check out the Natural History Museum website that you're looking at right now. I'll put the link in the description below. And um, there's a lot of really cool pictures and a lot more very fascinating information on that website. And there we go. All your questions answered about the spittle bug, or at least I hope they're all answered. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up, share it on your social media. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. And to every subscriber, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And Chance wants to thank you as well. He's trying to get rid of the mosquitoes right now. They're pretty bad out here this morning. 